hello and welcome to another video so it is sunday night i'm in the kitchen with jason and little sous chef and we are just going to put together our evening meal sunday dinner because it's freezing outside so cold so we're going to have a roast chicken dinner with some stuffing and some veggies and some roast potatoes and then i'm going to make a treacle sponge boiled in a pan for pudding so that's the plan if you want to follow along please do as usual i'll pop the recipe in the description Okay, so to start with, I'm just getting things ready to go in. So chicken needs to go in before the rest of the vegetables. Ziggy, stop barking. Just look down there. Uh, this, excuse me. This is what the noise is. So please excuse the barking. So what we're going to do is we have two dishes. One's going to be for our stuffing. One's going to be for our roast potatoes. But we need to prepare our stuffing first. And then we have our cup for some stock. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I've got a little bit of clover in each of these, so we're just going to give them a good grease. I do use my hands, my hands have been washed, so we're just going to give them a good grease for the stuffing. Stuffing does have a tendency to stick. For those of you who've watched my lasagna video, you will recognise these as my lasagna bowls. And there we go, so that's well greased. And then that just has a little bit in because that's going to be our potato pan. So that will melt when it goes into the oven to provide the fat for the potatoes. So I'll just go wash my hand, get down. That is going to be for our roast potatoes. So we'll pop that to one side for now. Let's get our stuffing ready to go in. So these are just normal Morrison's versions of Paxo. And they come in like a powdered form so you can make your own from sausage meat and breadcrumbs but just for ease we're doing a packet mix tonight there we go and they take usually about a pint of water hot water because it starts to make the stuffing develop a little bit and puff up this is our boiled kettle what I'm going to do, while that looks like a lot, so it will look quite m loose at first, it will start to thicken as you can see. You don't want stuffing to be dry because if it's too dry you can taste all the grains and the flour. It's really easy, water and stuffing mix. And this is a breadcrumb and sage and onion. So what we're going to do, I'm going to let that thicken up in the bowl. We're going to add to our stock cube just a little bit of water for the bottom of our chicken. Give that stock cube a chance to melt. So that is just a chicken stock cube. And you want about a cup, if that. Right. So here is our chicken tray. So the first thing we're going to do get our chicken in. The chicken will take the longest so it's going in on we've got it on 180 into the oven and this is going to go in for an hour all on its own before we put any of the veg or anything in because the chicken takes a while and like I've said before with videos you need to make sure that it's properly cooked. So this is just a small farmhouse chicken complete with wings that's going in there we'll get rid of that blood and wash our hands so we've got our chicken in there we're going to add our stock into the bottom this just helps keep your bird moist you don't need a lot of stock just about a cup and I also like to add a sprinkle of salt to the skin. Bring up the crispiness. Bring up the crispiness. Bring and a sprinkle crispiness. of our mixed herbs because it does have the sage and onion and rosemary in that we want. There we go. It's sitting comfortably. Sitting comfortably. So we're going to cover it up for the first hour with some foil. So 
do a quick time check. 22. So that's ready to go in. And we're going to put that in the centre of the oven as much as you can. Centre to top for an hour. That's your meat done. What I'm going to do now is just get everything else ready to pop in at the halfway mark. So if we go back to our stuffing, you can see now that that's thickened up beautifully. So that can go in our little bowl. Just need to spread that out. It's greased so it shouldn't stick. And that can happily sit in there for an hour before it needs to go into the oven. So if you're making Christmas dinners this year, this is prep you can do beforehand so that you're not rushing about when it's Christmas dinner time. You can get your stuffing ready, you can get your turkey ready, your taties, your veggies. You can get all of that ready before it's actually time to cook. So what we're gonna do next, in fact, I'm gonna add a little bit more fat to that just to make sure we've got enough. Use our spoon. There we go. And then I'm going to peel the potato. So you won't want to watch all that, but you will want to see what I do with them after. We've just took a quick break while we've peeled our potatoes. This is going to be used as our seasoning bowl. So into this, I'm going to put just a little bit of oil, tiniest bit of oil, and then we're going to add, there's my onion, there we are, some onion, onion, can't say the word onion, some onion granules, tiny bit of garlic, we'll try and do a tiny bit of garlic this time. And a little bit of salt. And that little mix because that's going to coat our potatoes. It's much better if you have fresh garlic, but I don't think we have any. So roast potatoes don't need to be a lot. Just keep them about that size, roughly. I'm just going to chuck them in there. Give them a good mix round, just to let that coat. So this is just tossing the potatoes in the oil and the seasoning. And then they can go in here. So there's only two of us for tea tonight. So we don't need a lot, so I'll probably only do half of that as well. Get it all in. Get it all in. <laughs> you are. If you run out, like you can see, they've taken quite a lot of that. It's so easy to just make a little bit more, a little bit more oil. A little bit more onion. I suppose with it being granules, it does coat a bit easier. And a little bit more garlic. And a little bit more salt. Quick mix round. You do really. There we go. You can see they're getting coated in all that lovely seasoning. Shove that in there. Oh, lost that one. So because we've got stuffing as well and there'll be other veg, you don't need a load of potatoes when there's just a couple of you. That will be enough for us. There we go. That's our roast. Is there ready to go in? I'll wrap that and put it in the fridge. Any of this you've got left over, you can just drizzle over the top to make sure that none of that seasoning escapes. There we go. And again, this is something you can do ahead of time. You can put to one side with our stuffing, cover it over, and that doesn't need to go in yet for another hour. So that chicken is roasting away.
come back in an hour and we will do our pudding, get that on and we'll get our veggies on and in. Okay, so it's been nearly an hour, almost. So what we're gonna do is get our chicken out and get it uncovered. On the pan, and on the pan, on the hob, I just have some hot water boiling in there. Oh, will they come clear in a minute? And I've got our veggies. They don't need to go on until 15 minutes before we need them. I'm just gonna check our chicken. Steamy windows. It does. I'll keep the heat in there. Have a quick check. Our bird is cooking nicely. We can take that foil off now. So we just put the foil on initially to keep some of that moistness in, some of that juice. Chicken can go back in, back on the top. Still got plenty of liquid in there. And we're just going to pop in our stuffing and taters underneath. Because they'll take about 45 minutes. That's them in. Next up, we're going to whip up a sponge for our treacle sponge. So first things first, we need some margarine. And I need my metal whisk, wherever it is. Metal whisk and a spoon. So the trick with sponge, if you're using eggs, it's four ounce of flour, four ounce of marge or butter, four ounce of sugar, to two eggs, four, 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 two. I'll have to do the conversion and put that in the comments for you so that you know what it is. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna put a little bit in there just to grease our tin in a minute. We need some margarine into our bowl. About that. Into that. In fact, we're gonna pop that in the microwave for 20 seconds just to soften it through. So, give us 20 seconds, soften that, that can go away. We have our sugar, so we're going to use some light brown soft sugar. For a normal Victoria sponge, you would use um, a caster sugar or a granulated sugar, but because I want it quite treacly, we're going to use soft sugar. So I've got our margarine that's softened. We're going to add our sugar. Just need a bit of light on the subject. And then we beat this together until it creams. So we're looking for it to form a cream. Sponges are fluffier the more air you get into them, which is why we use a whisk. So we've got that, that's our sh sugar and our butter. I'm going to add a couple of eggs to that. I'm going to get rid of the shells and wash our hands. Okay, so we have our eggs in. So this is a nice and quick and easy treacle sponge. It really doesn't take much making at all. I'll give that a good whisk so that that's all incorporated. This is nice and smooth, no lumps. And then we're going to add some self raising flour and a little bit of ginger. Like I say, I've been doing this a long time, hence why I don't measure because I kind of know the consistency I'm looking for. But I will put the proper recipe in the comments. So I do the flour a little at a time until I can see the consistency I'm looking for. So all you want is for that to start paling up and you need it to stay really smooth. ginger to that. Ginger 
just such a lovely flavour. A couple more spoons of flour should do it. see the consistency of that now. It's quite pale. All that flour's whisked in and you can see there's a few air bubbles through that which you want for a sponge. There we go. So that's our sponge mix. It's going to give this a butter. So we grease the edges because we don't want the sponge sticking and because it's going to have treacle in the bottom the treacle will also stick because treacle is horrendously sticky. There we go. So really good, well butter your pots, make sure that they're properly buttered so they don't stick. So I'll wash my hands again. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some golden syrup, so I've got Lyle's there, a little bit of butter in my hand, Lyle's golden syrup. Opens very much the same as a painting. There we go. And into the bottom we're going to put four generous spoonfuls, so I use dessert spoons. because when your sponge goes in and starts to cook, because we're cooking it Ban Marie style, the treacle will soak into the bottom of the sponge. <laughs> Fact three should do it, that looks like enough. Three will do it. That's definitely enough. There we go. So that goes in the bottom. And then <coughs> our mixture goes on top. This is our sponge mix. It's going to sit on top. I always leave a bit in the bowl for my filmer to lick out. If you have kids maybe don't let them lick out the bowls of sponges especially if they've got raw eggs in. Those 90s kids have been doing it for years. <laughs> right, oh, it's already out. We're going to cover this now with some foil because we want it to steam. So I'm going to cover it with foil. A bit like you used to do Christmas puddings in the old days. There we go. That's on there quite tight and it's going to go into this pan. So this pan you won't need on any more than three, you don't want it to boil and you don't want the water to fully cover the bowl because you don't want the water getting into your, into your pudding. So you want your bowl to kind of sit on the top like that. That will now sit there for the next hour and steam. So we've got our pudding on, we've got our meat and veg in the oven, come back in half an hour when we sort out gravy veg and it's time to dish up. Okay. okay, so we're back, Jason's just boiling the kettle, we have our veg now, which is cooked, our sponge is doing well, it's time to get our chicken out and our potatoes and our stuffing and we'll get dished up. Some smoke bomb! <laughs> Mm. 
There's our chicken. Lovely roast chicken. Have potatoes and some stuffing. Stuffing, stuffing, and then there we go. There we are. So that is our evening meal. Beautiful. There we go. So I don't need to do a taste test of this because we know that it's chicken and veg and stuffing. However, we will do when it is time for dessert. So that is our main meal. Come back at dessert time. Okay, folks. So we've had our dinner. It's pudding time. Here we go. Jason testing his treacle sponge. Oh, oh it's lovely. Please excuse the snorting, that's a dog. Mm. Nice. Oh, it contains the cinnamon. Oh, that's... Oh, it's lovely and warm and spongy and soft. It's very nice. <laughs> so there you go, chicken dinner and treacle sponge. That was our Sunday dinner. Very so I'll good. pop the recipe in the description. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again on the next one. Here's Ziggy Pooch looking for his.